Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. Listen up, I'ma show you never before seen moves, new speed glitches, new exploit cheese moves. I'ma also be giving you the best dribble moves for five nines through six fours, six fives through six nines, and six ten plus. So you're not gonna wanna skip. I'ma show you how to use the cheese. All the moves I previously showed y'all, they're not gonna be in this video. Each tutorial is completely different moves. I'm going to be showing y'all at least three moves that I've been gatekeeping. And if y'all want more moves that I'm scared to tell y'all because I'm scared Mike Wang is going to patch it. Get this video to a thousand likes. This one most people is rocking. It's the fastest speed boost. It has an L cross launch. And you only need an 85 speed with ball. But if you're a little guard, we're going to get into the uh, bigger builds after this. This is the one you want to be rocking. Now, Westbrook, another top one. You only need an 87. And you can speed boost almost as good as Garland. But you kind of have different angles. It kind of has a better cross launch a little. But not nothing too much, you know. Now, look, another one that's not in here is De'Aaron Fox. When that hole come out, it has a crazy cross launch. But you can't speed boost as good so yeah y'all might want to be on the lookout for that trey young is also an, another top tier one it's up there with uh garland and westbrook i would say westbrook's better it's good for speed boosting but the cross launch is horrible you get certain particular angles with it now for signature size up i think pool is the best i know everyone's rocking trey young maybe it is the best but the top three is pool trey young and derrick rose i think you get less of a pause with pool i don't know if i'm tripping y'all can lab it up too most people's using young but i think you get less of a pause with young uh with pool bro i don't know now look there's a lot of pretty decent regular combos guys if you are lost for six just put curry on anything they are double twist and curry they're on their knees for him Bad. now my favorite personally is isaiah thomas you see how he going crazy derrick rose is a nice one white's a nice one you could burst out this right here that reminds me of that 19 garland a nice one now for your aggressive my favorite one is ja moran Pool got a nice one you know you're going crazy with this bookers a stage cheese it's pretty good you know it's how you can just split defenders doubling you like between screens and stuff thomas is cool yeah now your escape moves curry's the best one don't want to use curry i'm the fox when it come out uh Kyrie's pretty decent <laughs> You know, Fox is cool. Kyrie's cool. But Curry's the best, yo. Now, my favorite combo move is Zach Levine. John Morant's right after. They're damn near the same thing. It's like the uh, Harden from last year. It's kind of like the go-to shot, kind of. Like John Morant go-to shot. But, you know, these are the two. Curry's another nice one. You know, he's kind of, you know, but you don't really need this because of, um, you got so many normal crosses. Now look, the best crossover this is out there, man. I ain't want to tell you. It's Chris Paul, man, for the little builds. Then uh, once you get starter four, it's another crossover that's even better. And it's the John Wall cheese, basically. Lillard's another good one, but Chris Paul for now. Zach Levine's kind of one that you don't really get ripped with. So like if you're a bigger build, you know you could do that one too. But I'm rocking Chris Paul. Now the best behind the back is Trey Young. I like it more than Garland. Garland, you kind of go up. Um, seems like that's more rippable. But uh top behind the backs garland young but I, I say young better young let's go to garland garland does have like a kind of better moving than trey but i think young is better now normal's also another good one the super big uh builds that are seven three get this with 40 ball handle it's kind of crazy but yeah now my favorite spin is garland trey young's another nice one so is the terry a or roser and so is steve nash those is like your top four. Now, my favorite uh, hesitation is Tyrese. Okay, there is some cheese I'm going to be showing y'all. Another metal one is the Kobe White. That's how you do like some crazy spam stuff. I already showed y'all that in my other video. That's a dribble tutorial. I'm going to be linking the uh, other dribble tutorials down below if you want to check those out. But another good hesitation would be Chris Paul. Garland's decent too, but overall, you know, I'll be messing with Tyrese. Now, for your step backs, bro, Zach Levine's the best. It's the new LeBron. Now, to do the stuff that the stage guys be doing, the uh, meta snatch and like oppo misdirection, it is Tyrese, by the way. I don't, you know, that's cool. It's cute. You know, maybe if you got a certain team, but this is just the best, man. You get hella space off it. Another good one is Luca. When you go to the side, um, you get something that Zach Levine's not really like. But uh, the step back's a little slower than Levine, but it's still cool. Uh, Devin Booker's another good snatch back. Now, for your go-to shots, man, John Morant, that's your best one. 
one. Curry's another good one. Okay. You see, you go crazy with it. <laughs> okay. It's for the little ones. Now for your hop jumper. Jordan Clarkson is, you know, the best one so far. You get a nice uh, speed glitch out of it. Kyle Laurie is another one for little builds. I'm going to show y'all a speed glitch out of that that you probably ain't seen. Well, no one's seen. I don't think no one knows about it, to be honest. We're going to call this the uh, Swan Kyle speed glitch. Okay. I'm a, I'm, matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all that move first. But yeah, for the little builds, Laurie and Clarkson, normal too. You can speed glitch out of like anything. Oh, you could do the speed glitch out of the Clarkson too. I'm going to have to show you. So yeah, this would be like my final move set for my guard. But for this, we're, what I'm about to show y'all. Okay, now look, to do the Kyle Laurie hop back, all you do is go one way. Hold your right analog down like this, right? Okay, now look, to do the Kyle Laurie hop back, all you do is go one way. Hold your right analog down like this. Right. Now look, this build is right handed, right? So if you do this, you can speed glitch going out your dominant ball hand. Now I'm pretty sure you could do this with every hop jumper, right? But let me show you the cheese with the Kyle Lowry speed glitch because you get that big step. You see that? If you do it out the same ball hand and you go southeast, you can get that speed glitch going that way. You see that? You see that? Speed glitch. Now I'm pretty sure you can only do a dominant hand. Someone uh clarify down below. Now I'm gonna show y'all the John Moran and Curry spam, right? It's real nice, okay? All you're gonna wanna do is do the curry escape and then the John Morant right after John Morant aggressive. You see, now I got the speed glitch active, but y'all see how it can get crazy, right? You see how glitchy it get? <laughs> y'all see. I see. Now, before every move, you enter the speed glitch, guys, and you could do that just by doing the Jordan Clarkson or in other videos. I show you how to enter the speed glitch in so many other different moves. That's why you got to watch those dribble tutorials. Now, this move right here that I'm about to show y'all is the Curry Escape combined with the Tyrese Hesitation, right? All you're going to do is hold R2 and double tap, double tap, double tap. It's just like the Kobe White uh spam that I showed y'all in another video, right? Y'all see? Now you can spam that crazy, right? You see? And it's like I'm this L2 canceling, going crazy, all this and that. It's too much, you know? Oh my God! You feel me? It's scary. It's very scary, guys. Now to do the Chris Paul cheese, all you do is go oppo ball hand while you driving, man. Eh. Eh. Hey. Okay. Anytime you get past your guy, eh, hey. get him behind you. Feel me? Eh. Hey. Now look. Eh. Hey, make sure y'all subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Look, the best dribble style for 6.5 plus builds. I would say this is number one because you can do a cheesy left-right spam that I showed in my past dribble tutorials. And if you can't get this or don't want to, this one's almost just as good. Yes, this would be the second best dribble style if you want to do that left-right cheese, okay? That real nice boost you just... Now, if you don't want to do that, then these two wouldn't be at the top, but Zeon still would be. Zeon's probably like top two, three, no matter what, but it has the left, right cheese. So, it, you know, it's super high. And other than that, then you got the Devin Booker and the Jalen Green. I'll put Booker over the green, but uh, so it's like.
Booker cool, but you can't do this. You can't do the left right cheese, bro. Like you can, but you get weird angles. It's not just straight compy angles. So, you know, it's up to you, but those are your four. Your best six size up would be Cade. Levine's cool too. It's another top one. They're basically on the same level. Drew Holiday's good. Ben Simmons is good. Those are look, you know, got some slow ones in there. Ben Simmons is cool. Kawhi is another top one. I would put it on the same level as like uh, I would say Cade and Levine are the best. Uh, I only like Kobe, bro. I ain't gonna hold. KD's okay. Ah, they're pretty trash on this. Now your aggressive could be that split, you know, but hey. So that's a pretty good one. Probably my favorite ones would be Tatum's and then KD's. See, you move around a little bit. Rance is cool too. Now for your escapes, Kobe's the best. This is the one you're gonna use, man. It's just above all else. Do that Kobe uh walk back. And then I guess Jimmy would be the second one. They kind of nerfed it. But yeah, these are the two ones you're gonna be wanting to stick with. You're more stuck in your animation more with Butler. Now the best combo move is Levine, okay? Now your best crossovers to me, I would say Levine and then Booker. Levine, you kind of get a weird angle and you don't get ripped and it kind of puts you behind them all the time. You know how to cheese it. So I'd say Levine number one and then Booker. You get an angle with Booker too. So yeah, I would say that's number two. Now, the best behind the back to me is Paul George. Most people you know are probably walk, rocking Kawhi. That's another top one. Levine kind of decent, but um, Paul George is the best. And then Kawhi. Okay, two great spins. I'd say Kobe Bryant and then Steve Nash. Now, the best hesitation to me is Tyrese. All because it's instant L2 cancel. You know, Jimmy Butler, decent. You know, KD. But I, I just think this is the best one. Now, the best step back is Zach Levine. Then you could say Luca and Booker. This is my favorite go-to shot. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite go-to shot. Here's my favorite hop jumper. And you can use normal too. That's the speed glitch. For you to spam speed glitch. Here's everything all together. Y'all be sure to follow me on Twitch, man. Lord Baby Hawk. For the super big builds. I would say these are the best six for you overall. Basically, just pick normal for everything when you make them crazy big builds. And you glitch it, my boy. You could damn near move and look like a guard. It's crazy. Y'all click on the video on the screen. Y'all wanna see how people are exploit glitching on NBA 2K20 ruining the game. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.